Clean up the desiccant on the ink station and platform before starting up. Raise the handle of pinch rollers and read and remove the precaution card. Move the media clamps to both ends of the platform. Tear off the protective film on the front heater and the protective net on the front roller. Remove the belt buckle. Move the carriage to the right side of the machine. Plug the take-up unit into the socket embedded in the printer. Plug printer power into power strip. Turn on the leakage protection switch. Power on printer and check the initialization status of carriage. Switch on the power of the dryer control box. Turn on the heater button and the rotary knob of wind force adjustment. Check the status of the dryer. Turn on the power of take-up unit and select manual mode. Test the forward and reverse rotation function of the take-up unit. Test ink alarm buzzer. Press the left button to move out of the carriage and then power off printer. Original factory ink is suggested. Fill the ink into the bulk ink according to the color of the ink tank. Remove the fixing screws on both sides of the carriage cover. Remove the carriage cover. Remove the print head fixing screws on the carriage. Prepare to install the ink damper. Remove the bungee. Connect dampers and ink tube. Remove the cable jacket. Insert the cable into the head socket in turn per guidance. Check the connection sequence and make sure the insertion correct. Place the print head into the carriage. Fix damper frame above print head with screws. Draw the ink from tube into dampers via syringe. Insert dampers in sequence referring to the precaution card clipped on platform. Power on printer. Connect printer and computer with a network cable. Open the PCS software. Check the connection status offline. Click Advanced Settings. 
Click Advanced Settings Communication Settings. Post IP Input 192.168.127.xx. XX can be any two digit number above 10. Click Settings and Confirm. Program will be read automatically by mainboard after connection. Close it. If the connection is unsuccessful, please check and change the computer IP. Take Win 10 as an example, click the network icon in the taskbar. Open the network and internet settings. Change adapter options. Select Ethernet, right-click to get property. Checked as shown above. Select use the following IP address. Enter 192.168.127.24 the IP address. XX can be any two-digit number above 10. Click the subnet mask input box. 255.255.255.0 is default setting. Click confirm to complete the computer IP change. Board parameters will be read automatically after connection. Click the settings from PCS software. Click fill ink to pump ink from damper to head. Remove the dust cap and check the ink pump status. Click stop if ink flows out from waste ink tube smoothly. Click clean and wiper will scrap the extra ink on head surface. Locate left media loading unit based on referring line. Fix the left paper feeder. Load media from left side. Fix media on the feeding unit. Raise the pinch roller handle. Make the material go through the pinch roller. Put down the handle of the pinch roller. Fix media edge on platform via clamps. Set the print margin. Input the corresponding value of media location referring to position ruler. Click detect. Print head status test. Click calibrate. Choose vertical calibration. Print the vertical calibration test. Select Step Calibration, click Print. Print Step Calibration Test. Check the calibration chart and find out the well overlap lines and type into the corresponding value into above blank and click Calculate until the printed bar above digit 0 is in best status. Click Save to apply the change. Select the head spacing alignment, select horizontal direction. Click Print toward left to get print bar. Check the calibration chart, head 1 is the reference head. Please find the position of the well-aligned bar, and then plus or minus the value on head 2, head 3, and head 4 to adjust head space among different heads. 
Click to save the change. Click print toward right to get print bar. Please refer to previous step to type into the correct value on headspace blank. Don't forget to save the change. Select vertical direction, if mechanical vertical alignment was well done, this step can be skipped. Refer to test bar to do a slight compensation on vertical head spacing. Click to save the settings. Select bidirection calibration, click to print test. Check the calibration chart and make two lines while well aligned and input the deviation value into correct blank. The perfect status is that lines above digit zero is well overlapped. Click save to finish the calibration. Lay out a photo from RIP software to print for testing. Select print resolution and material type. Make sure resolution selected in both places is the same. Click print and wait for the printing to check the final calibration effect. All calibration steps finished till now.